another strange mystery, that of Dorothy Edie and Om Seti. Dorothy was a toddler just like any other. She ran, played, laughed all day, was a treasure to her doting parents. Then the unthinkable happened. One morning, Dorothy ran down the stairs of her home near London and slipped and fell, so severe of the fall that the uh, three-year-old was pronounced dead in the scene. But then something unexpected happened. Dorothy woke up. For another four years, her parents had their beautiful daughter back until 1908. Everything had changed. On a regular outing to a British museum, Dorothy's parents first became aware that the girl was behaving strangely. As soon as they reached the Egyptian section of the museum, Dorothy was transfixed. She couldn't get enough of the artifacts and sat with, uh, with a glass-enclosed mummy for a long time, refusing to go home with her parents. Her parents even caught a glimpse of her running around the statues and kissing their feet. After this incident, things took a turn for the worse. Dorothy became almost depressed and would stare at photos of Egypt, insisting that the country was her home and that she needed to return. A picture of the Temple Seti, the first of Abydos, got her especially excited one day. She rushed to her father and shouted that this place was her former home. Before she found the picture of the temple, Dorothy had dreams in which she saw the buildings and greenery in ancient, of ancient Egypt. Her interest and love for Egypt skyrocketed and she joined study groups to learn more about the reincarnation and spirituality. After marrying an Egyptian man, she finally moved to Cairo and gave birth to a baby that she named Seti. She herself would now be known as Om Seti. Om's marriage didn't last. Her habit of going into a trance and scribbling random hieroglyphics at night about her spirit guide completely freaked her husband out. Her writings eventually amounted to around 70 pages of, and detailed Om's life in ancient Egypt. It stated that she was the priestess of Qom el Sultan temple and had a child by Pharaoh Seti at a young age of 14. However, she had broken a priestess vow by losing her virginity and took her own life to prevent the pharaoh from being punished for his crime. The hieroglyphics also contained amounts of spiritual encounters with Seti and plans to reunite with him in the Egyptian underworld. This fantastical story was discarded by many as her ramblings of a crazy person until the day that Am Seti helped archaeologist archaeologist to find the exact location of the temple garden. She had led them to the undiscovered tunnel at the north side of the temple. Om said he died in 1981 after having lived the rest of her days at the temple Abydos. No rational explanation to her memories exist, except what she has written. So there you have it. Told you it was a long one, sorry.